Okay, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're here for Spice and Wolf Remake Episode 11. So last episode, also, before you, anyone says anything, yes, I'm wearing a blanket like a jacket, it's cold in my room, leave me alone. Uh, last episode, uh, we, uh, we made a plan with Nora. Uh, after um, uh, Lawrence and Hollow managed to uh, reconcile after the end of the previous episode, we had a much better episode, and uh, they definitely, definitely grew infinitely closer because of uh, how they managed to reconcile with each other. Um, and obviously now we're, we've got a plan going out with Romario because his uh, trading company is essentially... He's losing a lot of people, and it looks like the company could go down. So they're going to smuggle gold to so both Lawrence and Romario can profit uh, from the uh, crash of the armor st stock market. Um, and we're getting Nora involved because we're going to use the sheep to transport the gold. And I'm not sure if this is correct, but someone commented and said that there was a translation error and that they're not going to put the gold on the bottoms of the sheep. They're going to make the sheep eat them. So, holy shit, that's not what I was expecting, but it does seem like a surefire way to smuggle gold. They'll literally never know because it is inside of the sheep. But uh, yeah, we will, we will see where this goes, where this art goes. Now that we've got Nora on the squad, she ended up deciding that she was going to um, gonna work with us. So I'm excited to see how the rest of this art plays out. But per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord links are in the description below. As far as, the disc as far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past anime, current manga, past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all of my reactions so feel free to check out either of those of your own will but now without further ado let's hop straight into spice and wolf remake episode 11. looks like it's time to put the plan into action here <laughs> yeah it's one of romario's men yeah all right <sighs> yep she's prepping herself it's time time to see if we can transport this gold if Romario is going through it, uh, we will only have dark days ahead. Or death. Smuggling could lead you to death. They find out about it, but it seems like he is that desperate that he went along with their plan. Uh, well, this guy clearly, clearly doesn't know how, uh, sheep work. Damn! Ah, makes sense. Uh, all right, the wolf-infested forest. Here we come. Hello, <laughs> getting all jealous back there. Oh my god. I will guarantee your safety. Yeah, if they find out she's a deity, that might be not- that might not be great. Getting prepared to attack, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I'll not respond to the threats of a mere dog. <laughs> Not good. Not good is the punishment. Uh, so such a thing does not happen. I like that. You just gotta protect her and make sure some shit like that does not end up happening. Oh, Hollow's sleeping on his shoulder. <laughs> like I just put his hands on her. Just right on top of her. <laughs> In a similar way to how Nora's got the dog on her lap, he's got the wolf on his lap. Oh man, she was ready too. Oh shit, the wolves are making their attack. Oh, f flaring up the fire some more. Uh, the way she, the way that Hollow immediately jumped to get in front of Lawrence. Uh, yeah, she got to cover her ears for that. And she does not seem to like that call very much. All right, we seem to be all right. And I love the dog. I'm just kind of staring out there. They rarely show signs of attacking. They just watch you. 
<laughs> I'm half serious? Well, that's not... That's not a very good feeling that you're somewhat serious about that. Alright, we've made it out of that goddamn forest. Now we just gotta await good news, basically. I mean, yeah, given how she is one. <laughs> she can start shit talking him. <laughs> She's taking this opportunity to dunk on him. <laughs> what did she say? Oh, they're, they're over there gossiping. <laughs> I love how Hollow has suddenly started getting along with Nora a lot more here in these interactions. <laughs> like in a rabbit that is hunted by a wolf every night, not know of wolves. I hate this girl so much. She's painting Lawrence out to be like a predator. <laughs> She's painting this poor dude out. He will die of loneliness. I love these two, man. I love how Hollow can just say shit like that and it just doesn't bother Lawrence at all because she knows he's just, she he knows that she is just fucking with him. No, I'm a wolf. <laughs> Your affection for him is unchanging. Greedy and occasionally flirts with others. <laughs> yeah, this is just your analogy for <laughs> if he cheats on me again. Hmm, it's fair. Yeah, basically telling him not to worry so much about her. Did things go well? <laughs> to be fair, the objective was to take them there and then take them back. We got to go back now. We've made it half the we've made half the journey. Yeah, see they that was definitely a translation error. Feed them the nuggets and pass through the city gates. Clearly a translation error last episode. They're literally going to make them eat them. What does that mean? Oh no. It's a fucking downpour, man. Oh Jesus, that's a lot of wolves. Oh my God, they're up there too? Bro. And that could better not get hurt. I'm gonna lose my shit. If they do anything to that dog, I'm gonna lose it. Don't go too far ahead, brother. Oh my God. Keep running. This whole plan relies on the sheep. If the sheep die, man, we lose the money. Yeah, if she is. She's awesome. Yeah, it's just a matter of how long can we travel like this. Uh... Oh my god, they've goddamn surrounded us. They're just walking along with us right now. <laughs> good shit, Hollow. That was utterly terrifying, but good shit. Just keep going, man. Don't think about it too much. Don't think about it too much. Also, the animation is the animation is popping off this episode. I gotta say, the anim this I feel like this episode has had the best animation this series has had so far. Oh. Uh, hmm. Oh my God! It's another hybrid. Oh my god, it's another hybrid. It's another of her kind. Oh shit. That's why they are so cautious in this forest and never fully attack or anything. Because they've got this one commanding it. Oh shit. Oh shit. That is 100% another one like Hollow. Oh my god. Did Hollow understand what was just said there? It's, is it the people or is it her? Oh, do they want hollow? They might want hollow. Chief stubbornness, crude pride that young ones hold dear. Ooh. 
What do you do here, man? Just go. Just go. D don't, don't ask. Don't ask. Just go. Yes. 100%. Just go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now it's time for Hollow to pop off. <laughs> I would kiss you at this moment <laughs> Only if he was a handsome male Out comes the tail Alright Yeah, she's gonna go try and have a chat with this other wolf <laughs> Didn't say it back. Well, let's see how this goes. I, obviously, this conflict is not going to be resolved in this episode, but we're going to have to see. Yeah, if the wolves catch up to you, them deciding to stay back will be for nothing. This guy's in the right here, 100%. If you stay back and the wolves catch up by some chance, then them telling you to go ahead and and say buying you some time meant nothing. He oh he's getting off. He tucked the jacket in his in in his jacket. Uh, they do not like her. They really do not like her. Maybe this will be a good chance for uh, Lawrence to get over his fear of her wolf form, because every single time he's kind of cowered from it. Uh, you are too young. <laughs> she looks like such a badass here, dude. Or is he just setting up camp? Yeah, he's just setting up camp. Okay, I thought he was gonna go like follow her, but no, he's putting this faith in her and he's just gonna set up camp and wait. Uh, we'll have to see if she can talk this out diplomatically with this other wolf. Oh shit. Uh, hello? You know, I really appreciate it. I do, but this is not the time, gang. I sincerely appreciate you guys coming here to help us, but this is really, really not the time. Did the ho oh. They're not asking about Hollow, or did they not know about her? Oh. Liebert is the one who knows about Hollow, right? He's the one that earlier in this season, Lawrence told him about Hollow because that's the one who helped him with the whole expedition, right? Uh, to get her back um, from her kidnappers. I believe that was the trading company that we were friends with. I really hope I'm not getting that wrong. I might, that's fine. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, bro. Yeah. So, Liebert is Romero's first name? I... Like, I... It sucks. Because it, it, there's so many names in the series that I forget them every now and then. And not knowing who's at, who's at stake here is gonna bother me badly and i want to go back and look but i'd have to skim through all the episodes to figure out who's who but all he's saying is romario company is uh uh betraying is what he said but they seem to know about hollow but i don't know if that means they know about hollow per se the way they're talking because they're like where's your campaign and he's like she's not here and they're like good that either just means they didn't want to do anything while a woman was here or they knew that she has wolf powers I, I honestly forget. I'm gonna assume that these people are part of the Romario Trading Company and they want to get rid of him so they can get as much profits as they can. We need to eliminate all the dangers we can. Uh, since you had a woman with you. Okay, so yeah, they don't seem to know. Yeah, I guess insurance-wise, they're just gonna keep him with them. Oh, Jesus. Good Lord. Ah! 
の娘もこいつみたいに縛って放り出しといたらどうだ神が始末してくれるってことかあれは羊の一頭も欠かさずこの森を抜けて Oh God Oh they're talking about Nora Oh Jesus this is um this is shit this is not good and leaver she will probably survive oh Jesus we should kill as little as possible so we're just gonna leave him tied up here scum well hollow should fi finish up her business and come back here and get him hopefully yeah they're taking his horse too of course they are oh they think hollow's dead i see that makes the situation much easier that they think she's dead uh, yeah, they're going after Nora now. Christ, man. What a depressing end to this episode. What the fuck? I don't want this happy ending after that depressing end to that episode. What the hell was that? Well, that was a shit end to the episode. I'm getting episode 10 deja vu. Or not episode 10, uh, episode 9 deja vu with that awful ending. Uh, well, hopefully... Uh, Hala will get here quick enough to see what happened with Lawrence. Or maybe she already heard it. I have no idea. She very easily could have already heard what's happening and be on her way right now. Uh, but yeah, it seems like Romario is trying to get as much profit from this as possible. So they're gonna let Nora get through with the gold and then kill her. Uh, Jesus, that is dark, <laughs> to say the least. But honestly, I don't really have much to say about this episode. This is a shitty cliffhanger ending. And we'll have to see how they wrap it up next episode. I obviously, Hollow and Lawrence are gonna pull through. All right, uh, uh, or the story wouldn't continue. But we'll have to see how they do it. And uh, see what they see what they do with the profit share and everything like that. Since Romario appears to be betraying them. Uh, but any names and stuff that I got mixed up, feel free to clarify for me. I apologize that I got them mixed up. This show has so many names. So please forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, I think that is gonna wrap it up for my action to Spice and Wolf, episode 11. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.